स्पॉटलाइट में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं आपकी होस्ट अमिता जॉइन मी वीकली एस आई टॉक टू इंस्पायरिंग गेस्ट हु शेयर दे सक्सेस स्टोरीज आर गेस्ट टुडे इज एन ऑन्टरप्रनर हु बिलीव्स इन गिविंग बैक टू द कम्युनिटी ही वेयर्स मल्टीपल हैट्स इंक्लूडिंग बींग द फाउंडर एंड सी ई ओ ऑफ सी एस आई ग्रुप एंड द फाउंडिंग कन्वीनर एंड द करंट चेयर ऑफ कैनेडा इंडिया फाउंडेशन इन शॉर्ट सी आई एफ It's my pleasure to welcome to our show Mr. Ajit Someshwar. Thank you so much for talking to us today. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me here. Very, and yes. and uh, good wishes to all your audience. Thank you. Today I'm sure all of us are going to be inspired by everything that you do. Lekin sabse pehle CIF ke aur hi jaate hain. Tell us a little bit about what it's all about. Canada India Foundation is a public policy advocacy organization is an organization that has got three major initiatives one is to bring the relationship between canada and india to the next level whether it is a political relationship or whether it is an economic relationship or it's a people to people relationship the second part is to support indo canadians in the public policy process here in canada whether it is in elections whether it is in boards and agencies right or whether it is just to volunteer and give their time towards good public policy here in canada third part is to showcase the changing face of india here in canada because not all canadians who really know the impact that india is making in the modern world mm. amazing so it's uh, everybody gets recognized you know in terms of the role they have to play whether it is towards the community here or overall towards canada india relations so that's great so uh, aap us organization ke sath hai uh, from the uh, beginning itself because you are one of the founding conveners so what are some of cif's achievements since you have been on board <coughs> let us put it on a, on a on a political level first right Uh, during our very first year uh, prime minister harper was our chief guest at the first mm. awards night mm. that tells you of the caliber of people select people who are on the board of governors of canada india foundation we also had our dear ex president uh, uh, abdul kalam mm. right here as the guest of honor from india mm. right and during that event uh, Prime Minister Harper and Abdul Kalam spoke about the civil nuclear agreement right and the NSG approval for nuclear supplies to India and that became a success story and today as a result of that on the benefit side on the on the business side of it there's a 250 million dollar uh, contract with Cameco for uranium supplies to India so you see how we worked both angles mm. right at, at one point in time India was considered pariah Uh, to the canadian nuclear establishment and now it's accepted as a peaceful nuclear you know energy source for indians so that's on, on that side now on the people to people side you know we have uh, had a, a bunch of speakers from india uh, you know to come and speak about the changing faces of india right we've uh, also had people who have impacted uh, on relationship between canada and india to come and speak with us on promotion of indo canadians we are constantly looking for good quality indo canadians to come to the fore and lead us all canadians to the next level wow so you are trail blazers you know essentially because uh, you contribute towards the progress in the community whether it be here or across uh, in india itself So that's what I think is different about CIF because you have a, or I mean we have a lot of organizations out here who claim to uh, help progress the Indo-Canadians, but this sounds very different because it's on a much larger scale than me, the local. Let me let me just uh, frame this uh, in 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 a perspective that you will uh, that the viewers can probably understand. We have a lot of organizations that are very cultural organizations. Mm -hmm. They are either Gujarati or Malayalam or Tamil or. Punjabi or Sikh or whatever it is, the cultural, partly religious. We have also organizations that are uh, professional networking organizations, 
like the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce, which I had the privilege of being the president and instituting the awards from 1991 to 1993, mm -hmm. right? That's a long time ago, over, the, over 25 years ago, mm -hmm. right? And uh, then there are also business organizations like uh, CIBC, Canada, India, mm -hmm. Business Council, that is only focused on business links between India and Canada. But in that perspective, what we don't see is how to raise the public policy of Indo-Canadians with, with Canada and how to elevate the strategic relationship between India and Canada. Nobody had that as a goal. Mm -hmm. So we said, there's one puzzle missing here, let's attack that puzzle and let's go after it. Love it, I love the fact that you uh, geared towards changing the status quo. Everybody else probably just come, if it stays within the comfort zone, but you, you know, you go ahead and spearhead many such uh, projects. And uh, so today we want to find out, as you were just mentioning about the award gala, uh, the 2017 Global Indian Award Gala is coming up. But what is this annual award gala all about? What we decided, right, is we should honor a global Indian whether the person is from India or from the U.S. or from Canada, a global Indian who has made all of us global Indians proud. Mm. So this award is not going for their contribution to Canada or their or the contribution to the U.S. It's a contribution to global Indians. Mm. And global Indians are the 1.3 billion in India and the 40, 50 million that's outside India. You know, so their name recognition is there. You know, they have made us proud. As, and we belong to the same community, so we feel proud. And in so, in, in do, uh, in so doing, right, we want to give them an award, which is a beautiful trophy that, you know, my wife uh, designed it, actually, and also a purse of $50,000 to their favorite charity. So this is a huge amount given to a charity of their choice. Of course, we have to agree with the charity because that's the terms of uh, the, the offer and uh, we give it uh, in their name and organize a gala around that person every year. Amazing. It sounds very resourceful, interesting, and we want to find out more. But first, take a little break. Welcome back to Spotlight. We are talking to the founding convener and the current chair of CIF, Mr. Ajit Someshwar. So love this gala idea. So tell us a little bit about the previous galas. Well, the first recipient was Dr. Sam Petroda. Hmm. Dr. Sam Petroda, uh, during uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi's time, went to India and he promoted the entire digitalization of the telecommunications field, mm -hmm. right? And India took a leapfrog from the landline to the cell phone line, right? And it all happened because of a personal instance that he had. But, uh, and we thought that today India has almost a billion cell phones, right? We must pay respect to Dr. Sam Petroda. Mm -hmm. Then we also had recipients like uh, uh, Ratan Tata, we had uh, Deepak Chopra, oh. the, the major, you know, guru, mm -hmm. the mind guru, as it were. We had uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Murthy of Infosys, mm -hmm. right? So we've had, and of course, last year, we had the owner of, uh, of or the CEO of ZTV, yes. who has grown so fast and so rapidly in media, Dr. Subhash Chandra. So we've had all stalwarts right, who've come here uh, to Canada, received the award from us, and made us all feel proud. Wow, like you said, right from the get-go, these are all big names that we're seeing. So you're rubbing shoulders with the best of the best, like minds and, uh, you know, entrepreneurs. So uh, this year's gala must be even, every year I know it keeps getting better, so it must be more exciting even this year. So tell us about what can we expect at this year's gala. This year, uh, the recipient is uh, Swami Ram Devji. Wow. Swami Ram Devji is recognized uh, uh, by millions and millions of his followers 
as the international yoga teacher, as a, as a person with a purpose of bringing yoga and bringing nutraceuticals to the health and well-being of the entire world, right? So he is the recipient. So we are going to have it because he's coming here on the 25th, which is the International Yoga Day mm -hmm. at the International Center. And we are having the gala on the 26th at 6 p.m., right, at the International Center, but a different location within the International Center, which is, I think, we are in, in, the, in the Ballroom 5 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that it will be a, a grand uh, success. And uh, I would like all your audience to come at, to the reception and be part of this uh, felicitation of Swami Ramdev, who is not just uh, given yoga to a select few in India, but he's given yoga to the world. It's global. And what a nice follow-up as to you experience the whole yoga uh, experience under him on the Sunday. And then on Monday, you see him getting felicitated. So it's uh, going to be an amazing gala. It already sounds like the previous years have been uh, on, a, on a large scale, larger than life. So I'm sure this year's gala is going to be the same as well. So where can our uh, viewers find out more information? You can go to CanadaIndiaFoundation.com or you can call me. You know, uh, I mean, the reason you can call me is because I don't remember the office phone number, <laughs> but you can call me and on 416-333-3300. And that's not a pizza number, that's my number. <laughs> Very well said. So we look forward to this gala to be inspired as we are getting inspired by you today. One thing I must say, like you mentioned about CIF, uh, it just doesn't focus on one aspect of making the relation between India and Canada stronger. As you already heard from the different recipients from the past year, there's like a variety. It's from different walks of life. Everything that makes the relation between Canada and India stronger so I'm going to digress for a bit from the gala and ask you a bit more about CIF. What uh, other initiatives can we look forward to or projects can we look forward to? Well, you can look forward to CIF being very active in the space of, of, of uh, politicians from Canada going to India, politicians from India coming to Canada and, and talking about issues and discussing ways to progress. We are trying to further the, the free trade, uh, you know, the agreement between Canada and India, right, so, so that it's ease of doing business in India, right, is uh, facilitated, by, facilitated by Canada's trade shifting from just a north-south equation to more a uh, west-east equation, mm. right? So, uh, and I like, uh, Prime Minister Modi has got the look east policy. But if you look east far enough, you'll find Canada back there, <laughs> right? So that's okay. what you know, we want. And we want, and there are so many Indo-Canadians out here, right, that have got very strong links with India. Mm -hmm. And we want to promote those links into business links. We want to promote those links into cultural links, right, and have a two-way relationship that is solid. Because I think Canada deserves to have the right kind of immigration from India, and Indians have the best brains, whether it's technology or business or whatever it is, and they make the right kind of immigrants for Canada. And we need immigrants because we are going through a phase where we have huge issues with our fiscal policies, mm. whether it's pensions, whether it's uh, you know, medical health benefits. So we need more people to hit the tax road on day one. And India has got a good supply of that. And so it's in Canada's interest to attract talent, attract people who can be a source or a base for Canadians in the future here. Very well said. And thanks to uh, CIF, now we can learn from each other. So you're providing the platform, learn from each other, put it into action and make the relations better and even uh, uh, let Canada and India progress in their own ways and make the ties even stronger. Wow, what an honor to be part of this organization. How does one become part of uh, CIF and contribute to it? Well, it, they, now here's the catch. Mm. This is not a, a grassroots organization, but has got access to, to grassroots 
Indo-Canadian organizations or grassroots Indo-Canadians. This is an organization that has only about 35 members. Each one of them is a member of the Board of Governors. Each one of them is a very successful business person or a professional, right? And therefore has a lot of relationships and contacts to bring to bear for a given issue. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are limiting the number of people because we, have, we are like, you know, I may be the, the first among equals as a, as a chair, but to be honest, I don't even think I'm that. I'm just an equal amongst the 35, right? And we all operate as a team. We pick up issues as a team. We work together as a team and get it done. So, and collectively, I think these 35 members uh, have businesses worth, you know, billions of dollars right. and employ thousands and thousands of Canadians. Wow. Well said. Well, we can all aspire to be a CIF member someday if we... No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Let me correct you there because you know, interruptions are allowed, I guess. Yes. Right? <laughs> For that, sure. Yeah. Is that, no, you can become a member, right? Uh, but your membership has to be supported by two existing uh, members and it has to be approved by everybody. Anybody can be a member, member. right, of, of, of CIF. There's, there's no uh, cap as such, but we have not gone out looking... For members, but if you are really enthused about uh, Canada and India and public decent public policy and reasonableness of life, then I would advocate that you should come and at least try and hear more from us and try and see if you can join it. Well, you have inspired us today, so uh, we aspire to be a CIF member. We want to find out more, but before that, it's time for a short break. Spotlight may fir se aapka swagat hai. We are talking to the founding convener and the current chair of CIF, Mr. Ajit Someshwar. So we have talked about CIF, we have talked about the upcoming gala. Now I wanted to talk a little bit more about you, the person who is, you know, uh, spearheading a lot of these initiatives as part of the team at CIF, but you're more than just that. Tell us a bit about the fact that you are the founder and the CEO of CSI Group. What is that all about? I'll go a little bit you know, before that as well. Yes. Right. I, I came to this country from England in uh, 1988, right? I'm a, I'm a CA from UK. Mm. And when I came to this country, I was so enamored by this country. I said, it's time to pay back, right, in, you know, to this country and to the people of Canada for my, you know, wonderful... I could see at that time that I was going to have a wonderful existence here. Mm. So, and at that time, I became the president of the Indo-Canada Chamber of Commerce in, 19, in 90, 1991, right? And in 1991, I decided on the awards for uh, Indo-Canadians out here, mm. right? Uh, the awards, the annual awards that has been so su successful since then, mm -hmm. right? And the purpose of that was I said to myself uh, while crossing King, King Street back to my office, Mm -hmm. at Pete Marwick, right? It was that, that unless you honor your own people, right, you have no right to expect others to honor you. Wow. So I said, and since the profile is defined by the color of your skin from the outside, mm. that profile has to be enhanced. Mm. So enhancing the profile and honoring your own people became a key mantra for me. Mm. So I was the president and then on the advisory board for a little and then, then I went into uh, business, CSI consulting. Mm -hmm. That time we had a huge Y2K issue. Mm -hmm. So I joined the bag and uh, I was vice president of CIBC at that time. <clears throat> I left them, started my own consulting, IT consulting company. Mm -hmm. I got CIBC as one of my first clients and then grew from there on. Exponential growth during the Y2K days. Mm -hmm. And we made a successful hump over the Y2K into newer technologies and whatnot. And today we are a fairly, you know, uh, I would say medium to large size IT uh, consulting services company with offices in England, India, US, Ottawa, Toronto, Markham, right? So we have offices everywhere and uh, we are fairly successful at it. Uh, and then now having done that, I said, let's give some more time to the community. And that was the birth of Canada India Foundation. And that was that 
small piece in the landscape that wasn't filled in that we started filling in. Oh, wow. So CSI Consulting has a role to play in all this, as you know. Wow, congratulations on such an amazing, successful journey. But I, I know you keep going, but what is it in that busy executive in you that feels the need to give back to the community? You already have so much on your plate. Canada is probably the best country in the world, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there are a few chinks and some more chinks are appearing in the horizon, which <laughs> we'll talk about later. But you know, you know, Canada is the best country. And to give back, because till somebody has told me that they have built an elevator to take all their money, all their honor to the next world, right? You are going to leave it all back here. Hmm. So you might as well start giving back right now. Very well said. So if you are so busy doing things for the community and helping us progress, do you have any time for yourself and for your family? Well, I, I, I do play golf, so which means that, and my son plays golf, so we share, uh, uh, at least in the summertime, at least uh, w one round uh, every two weeks. Mm. So the father-son relationship goes that way. And I have only one son. My wife, you know, she's been living part of everything that we do together. So whether I'm doing it for uh, Indo Canada Chamber of Commerce or whether now I'm doing it for Canada India Foundation, my wife has been an integral part of it. So, you know, so it's all in the parcel. So you don't just get me, you get my family <laughs> with me. <laughs> Very well said. So inspiring, so well-rounded. I mean, an all-rounder. Uh, you've inspired us so much today, but I was just wondering, do you have any words of advice for our viewers who are watching us today who aspire to be like you someday? My word of advice to, to everybody is there is nothing like getting a goal fixed in life, both, right? A business goal and a personal goal, and nothing like just pursuing it like a dog does to a bone, right? So just go for it. And at the same time, we live in an environment here in Canada which is changing fast. Some of the things that have happened recently, including the member's petition in the Ontario Provincial Parliament, is not something that we are very happy about. Right? I think we should try and make sure that the people who are trying to divide us as Indo-Canadians or divide us as Canadians, they are you know, adequately penalized or they're adequately distanced from the mainstream of what we want to be. So it's a good quality of public life we want, a good quality of business life and professional life we want, and a good quality of personal life we want. So this, if you have these three, then this will continue to be the best country in the world, which currently it is. Well, thanks to you, as Canada celebrates its 150th, we have strong role models like yourself, which makes everything better. And we can follow in your footsteps and get inspired to do better too. Thank you very much. Thank there you. are quite a few other events also that CIF is planning to do. If you go to the website, canadaindiafoundation.com, you will get all the details. We have a golf tournament on July the 26th, following the June 26th event. Then we have a talk with uh, Tarek Fatah on what he believes is, this is going to be a little bit controversial, but very interesting. We are not afraid of controversies, of the ethos of Hindustan, right? Uh, you know, what does that mean? So, and then following that, on September 8th, we have got an event at uh, Pearson which is called Celebrating Democracies. So we're going to pick all the democracies together and we're going to celebrate. Awesome. So the website is where you want to go to learn about all these events, plus the upcoming Global Indian Award Gala. Thank you so much, Mr. Someshwit, for talking to us today. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you. So aaj hame dilasa hua hai ki our contribution to Canada will not go unrecognized thanks to community leaders like Mr. Ajit Someshwar and organizations like Canada India Foundation. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. Thank you for watching us. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and write to us at spotlight at ethnicchannels.com. Until next week, this is Amita signing off encouraging you to do your part to make your community better.